There's a steel ball here resting on a golf tee, and here we have a cup. Now, when I pull this stick from out underneath, predict what the ball is going to do. I mean, it's going to fall, but predict what it's going to do. Let's take a look. <gasps> it goes into the cup. Why? Well, once this piece of wood starts falling, leaving the ball behind, the ball is governed by Newton's first law, which states that, no, I'm sorry, the ball is governed by Newton's second law, which states that the acceleration of the ball will be in the direction of the net force, which in this case is the weight of the ball. So the ball should fall straight downward. And we can verify that by putting an axis here, an axis, y-axis, and you should see the ball fall straight down that is parallel to this axis. Here we go. Now, if you would put yourself in the frame of reference of the falling stick, so imagine that you're on board here and you're falling with it, you would see something like this. which means that there was a, a force kicking the ball that way. But we can't identify such a force. It wouldn't be electric, it wouldn't be magnetic. Because right? after all, when this falls, it leaves the ball. Right? So there's no way that an electric force could push it that way.